so y'all can really see this so this one is the original uh, tobacco uh, for some reason and this one is actually the Tom Ford tobacco vanilla um, let me tell you as you can see it's almost gone when I first got this I was like mm, I don't know you know but it's the tobacco ginger and apricot those are the top notes and then it has toka beans in it, uh, dry fruits, and bond wood. I really, really fell in love with this one. And let me tell you why. Because out of all of the ones that I was spraying, this one really stuck on me. Um, and honestly, I first started using it and, and I didn't like it. And then I said, well, let me just use it up. So every time I had to get out of the shower and everything, this is what I would put on. This would be my basically my base perfume that I would put on and honestly I just once I started doing that I just kept going as you can see it's almost gone <laughs> literally but I love this scent but it grew it like basically grew on me so if you're ever looking for something that's really strong it's, it's got a strong scent to it too so if you're ever looking for anything that's strong this lasts pretty long it, it was with me when I didn't know it was with me <laughs> So people just really complimented me on my fragrance. It was like, oh, you smell so good. And I'm like, okay, girl, thank you. But it, it's mainly, it was this one. This is usually my base. And uh, the next one is, oh, sorry. The next one is my uh, Florental Vanilla. This base is really, what is it? Margarine, pear, pink, pepper, uh, is that licorice? I think it says licorice. Cedarwood, patchouli, vanilla, and coffee is its its base. This is the YSL Black Opium. Black Opium is, is a perfume that I always wanted, and I don't have this one. But when I started uh, using this, I was like, okay, eventually I'm going to go and purchase this. Because I wanted to try it out, you know, um, just to see if it was worthy uh, the dupe is worthy for sure, which means that the perfume is excellent. So that's that one. I think this one was 39. It might be 29 by now, though. Um, of course, uh, this is the, um, what was this? This is the Tom Ford Lost Cherry, which uh, Dossier names it as the Oriental Cherry. Oriental Cherry. And... Uh, the base, well, yeah, the top coats are, of course, the cherry, the almond, and cinnamon. And then you have a base there 
of toka beans and vanilla and it says um oh it's it's got cloves rose jasmine in it too i love this one this one is like it sticks too just like the um the um tom ford tobacco vanilla this one is just as powerful so if you're just wanting to test test out before you actually go and make a purchase the, the dossier brand is really good to test out if you want to go that route um let's see this one is the florental jasmine sorry the floral jasmine and this is the what is that Nerali neural Norelli, cardamom, bergamot, pepper, um, has vanilla in it, jasmine, of course. Tom Ford Jasmine Rose. This one is pretty good, too. I, li I like all of them. Uh, but I'm, these are main ones that I was trying to try out to see, ooh, this might be good, this might not be good. I just didn't want to be that person that spends a lot of money and don't like it. So everything that I've really purchased, this one is really good for it. I like jasmine, though. So if you're not keen on the jasmine, um, not sure. But they have plenty, plenty of uh, scents that you might like. Uh, one of my favorites here is the floral honeysuckle. And <laughs> I got this one just because it's, Gu it's Gucci Bloom. Because <laughs> I love Gucci Bloom and I have it. But I didn't I was using it so much that I was like, okay, let me let me get something else <laughs> just to make sure that I'm not gonna use up my Gucci Bloom. And I this is like my backup. So right now, this is what I do when I want uh, Gucci Bloom. Uh, this one has, of course, the uh, green leaves, orange, honeysuckle, and uh, ooh, sandalwood. Vanilla is in there too. It has it has a jasmine, of course, but I love this fragrance. Uh, ooh, okay. This one smells just like it. <laughs> just like it. I was like, okay. It might be, mm -mm, I just think it smells just like it. My nose might be a little off, but mm -mm. this one to me smells just like it. So, what is that? Hold, please. Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry, my door stopper, like, took me off guard. I didn't know what that was. So, um, floral, allergies, Chanel number five. I love this. Um, this one has the, I know I'm not saying it right, but... Aldehis and Nerali and Bergamot and the sandalwood. This thing smells ylang ylang. I love this. This, I mean, honestly, if I was walking by somebody and they were wearing this fragrance, I couldn't tell there wasn't Chanel number five. Honestly. So I love anything Chanel number five. <laughs> this um, I think it was 29 uh, in Dossier. I'll, I'll put it listed below for you. All these fragrances will be listed below in the description so that you can see it and you can pull it. The Victor Roth uh, Flower Balm, which is the uh, Gumad White Flowers. This one smells just like it. I This is one of my favorite scents with the bergamot and green tea, uh, freesia. Uh, Patrolli. I think that's probably what I'm smelling really good, really well. And the caramel and vanilla. Um, this, this is one of my number one fragrances. I, I think Dossier hit it on the spot with these. And I, I try not to use, <laughs> I try not to use this one too much, but I do use it, uh, as often as I can. Uh, because I just like different scents. I like to, it just depends on my mood of how I want to smell, <laughs> to be quite honest. Uh, it just depends on my mood. And that's why I get so many fragrances, because I love scents, and I love to smell good. Uh, now I'm going to open this one, because I don't remember what I bought. But ooh, And then I got a free sample here, too. 
So I guess if you're not fully satisfied or if you really don't like it, you can send it back and then you can have the sample. This one is the oh, uh, the powdered Hawthorne, which is, oh good, they gave me the cards. And the cards come with it, I'm sorry. The cards come with it, tells you all about it on the back. And the box is really cute too. And this is the little box that it comes in, just like this for you. And it tells you all about the fragrance. Oh, sorry. Ugh, I'm back. Okay, so it tells you all about the fragrances. And the notes are the, um, and I got to, of course, I got to label these. I just opened them. Of course, the bottle's full. And this is the Aldrinese or Neurale Orange Blossom. Um, then you have Hearthorn and the Peru uh, Boslum and Vanilla. I, this was it, concentration is 18%. I, I really, really think that this one is a stiller. This is the Tom Ford um, Maldequique Ed to, I mean, Ed de Parfume. And this is the Metallicic or Maldequique. Uh, Eddie Perfume, Tom Ford, of course. I like him. Let's see. Let me see. Let's see. Ooh, that's different. Get the spray on. That's different. That's different. I don't know yet. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know yet, y'all. I don't know. It might grow on me. Just like the... Oh, okay. Okay, it's calming down now. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, it might... Okay. I'm going I'm to see. I'm going to see. But that's, that's that one. I was surprised. I was surprised that I just didn't like it first offhand. Uh, we'll see. We'll keep the little box and everything. Uh, let's try this one. Let's see here. This is the, oh, this is the Musky Musk. And this one is the, oh, Juliet has a gun. This is the one that I've been wanting to try. And I heard so much about it. This is Juliet has a gun. And this notes are, let's see. God, I can't say this word. It's all super, it's only super catalogs and Hyroldine, Hyroldine. I don't know, but it's got a musk in it, of course. I don't know, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. So, uh, this one is the Musky Musk. Juliet has a gun. Now, this one that I've been waiting. Oops, let me try this. Um, I heard so much good things about it. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. I like the must though. I, I, I like the must. Yeah. I will see. It smells good though. It's very subtle. It's not strong. It doesn't come out at you. It's very subtle. Hmm. This might be one where I just put on after I get out of the shower. I will see y'all. I like it though. I don't love it though. I don't lie. I don't lie. I don't love it. It probably has a grow on me, too. We'll see. We'll see. All right. The next one is the oh, Floral Vanilla. And this is inspired by... Oh, I've got... This is Black Opium again. Okay. I'm sorry. That's okay. I'm going to keep this one. <laughs> I'm going to keep this one because I love... Uh, uh, I love Black Opium. I do. That's all right, boo. That one's good. Okay. And this one is... Let's see... Oh, Florental Almond. It's fire, but oh, Carolina, Carolina Herrera. Carolina Herrera. Uh, let me see about this one. This has the almond, peach, and the orris, orange blossom, tuberose, taco bean, and the vanilla and cocoa. Okay. Hold on, boo. Oh, this all looks good. This might be one of, this might be it right here. Ooh, girl. Ooh, girl. I kind of think I like Yeah. Okay, I like this one. I like that one. 
it's different too. I like I like it because it's different. And I can see, mm. Yeah, I like that, y'all. I smell the vanilla, of course. I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's the Tuca Rose or the, it might be the almond. I don't know. It's, it's different, but I like it. Okay, this is a winner. I like that. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Well, those are all the ones that I have for now. You'll see me probably pop in with some more. Oh, sorry. Here I am. <laughs> You'll see me pop in with some more um, fragrances here and there. It's just that um, I wanted to get Dossier all by itself. So the next ones that you see, it'll be the stuff that I already have that um, I just like to talk about and show you. It'll be a short, short one because I'm just one of those people that I ain't finna bore you. <laughs> I because you might not like what I love, but I love... I love smelling good, so I just wanted to let you see what I do. Uh, from day to day. Uh,